Our blue team on the left side, they are Mad Corpse with Lolony playing Tassadar in the mid lane. In the top lane, we have Jalik himself playing Zagara with that sweet skin. And in the bot lane, the triple stack, the JP is playing Illidan, seconds. SDK is playing Rhaegar, and Juki is playing Diablo. And on the right hand side, Four, all grouped three, in the mid lane and in the red trunks, one. it is our champions from last game. It is Let Team Eryx. And on the ETC, we have Bloody. On the Stitches, we have Javion. On the on the Valor, we have Corti Loves You. Helios is playing the Ufa. And finally on the Nazibo, it is Shoin. And they're all going on to Lonely. Dimensional Shift popped. He lands on the right side of the zombie wall, but he's still quite low. Bloody thinking about chasing there, but they decide against it. They've done what they needed to do. They've put on some pressure. And this gives them basically quite a bit of free reign in this middle lane, but they're choosing to play a bit passively. Yeah, but they get back into lanes uh, just in time for these first minions to drop. So no Stitches no attempting to be actually lost here. Yeah, Stitch is attempting to be stealthy by standing directly on the creep tumor. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nice amazing move. how many people forget that, but they managed to hook up. Nice hook anyway. on the Jellic, and there comes a slam, maybe a follow-up out of Cody. Ew. But oh, oh it's, it's not gonna be enough, stuff. is it? Uh, no, Jellic gets away, but that was really close. Uh, that was oh. health and Nazibo was popped. Where did he die? Mid lane. Okay. Yeah, Illidan went. Illidan just dived him. Fair enough. And that actually leaves mid lane completely the empty. So they're just going to kill off this wave as quick as possible. So their wave pushes up to tower. And there we go. Two, three minions, four minions worth of XP lost. That's going to be the entire wave. Yep, entire that, that was not bad. Lost. Very nice. One pickup and that whole lane. That is a really nice move here. It's a huge XP. And it looks like Nazibo together. might be in trouble. Diablo is joining this lane here again. And JP also dropping out, but uh, they're not really giving up on it. Do you think JP's surname is McDaniels? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, now I have flashbacks of Sharktosis. For now, though, Yuki is uh, hanging around the Golem Pit, looking to see if he can get uh, Valor, because she's been using this path to roam between mid lane and bot, mid lane and top lane, but she's currently hanging around mid lane. Oracle will spot her, and that means Diablo can probably leave. He knows that he's not going to be needed here. Instead, they're going to wait in the death rush, see if they can catch a moving up, but they actually will. Corti. Oh, there he goes, but Cardi. Flip. It's, no, there it's, comes the flip, and Cardi goes down. Nice move, JP landing the final blow there. And that was really nice synergy here between Yuki and JP. Yeah, although uh, Yuki, a little bit slow on the ability cast at some point, like stood uh, stood there a bit because the, vo uh, the vault made the unstoppable animation. For that reason, that cancels the even the cast of the shadow charge. So Yuki did look did look like she was just sta uh, he was just standing there for a bit, but it was just ability cancelling thanks to Valor's vault. It happens on Diablo. I play him a lot. It sucks. <laughs> Now uh, there's Helen's here. Uh, we have Soul Feast again on Diablo, but um, going for Amplified Healing for his um, level 4 talents there. Yeah. So, so that's going to help out a little bit here. Uh, since they do have Rhaegar and the Healing Ward. Yeah, we have Healing Totem and Healing Ward plus the Amplified Healing. Many heals onto this Diablo are going to be very survivable. Currently only on 38 stacks though. Not going to see any revives. Tackling straight out to Shoy and JP going to be chasing it, showing down. But Valor and Ufa are trying to protect him, but that's going to prompt Illidan to back up a bit. Yugi, though, bit out of position. Oh, nice stun lands there. And can he get away? He has a shield on him. And Bloody trying to back off. Oh, Yugi goes down. Wow. Yugi doesn't care. He's just going full charge onto this, going very, very aggressive. And Stitches goes down as well. Nice move. It's four kills already, and that's going to give him complete control over this tribute. And first tribute, uh, well, uh, is he here? 14 map orbs. Yeah, and what we saw there was Diablo <laughs> get engaged upon. The entire team of, uh, the entire team of Eryx go on to Yuki, and Yuki not care. He walked back a bit, took the healing from his team, and then turned straight back around and separated stitches from his team. Yeah, really, and also really cool move. So, okay, yeah. now we have Sea Chance taken uh, in top lane. And it looks like they're going uh, for their own Sea Chance now in bot lane. To give them a little bit of uh, headway. We are blessed. And the remainder seven. of the team will have to go up and react since uh, Zagara is pushing this lane really, really hard. Let's have a look at her Siege damage. Already down uh, up to 20,000. Um, that's quite a bit. That's, uh, well, it's actually Stitches and Valor combined on the opposing team. Yep, 
pretty effective. For now, though, Jellic in a bit of an auto attack dueling war with Shoin. But the difference is, Jellic has a lot more survivability here thanks to the combination of reconstruction trait, which means it gets a 200% health regen bonus while on creep, and the rapid incubation. So to just push a button and get back a good chunk of health and mana. Only currently backing away from stitches, doesn't want to get hooked down. Yeah, that was a little bit dangerous there, and now they can actually support their bruisers. The next tribute is up though, and it's on the side of Mad Corps. Let's see if they're gonna go for it. There comes the hook onto SDK, but uh, it's too many players, too many heroes. Javion can't really do anything about it. And looks like Mad Corps will get that blessed. second tribute pretty much without any contest coming out of Ariex. Yep. And they might even think about a steal here on the boss. They're at level 10. It's one solid level advantage and one big one. Have a look at their level 10 talents here. Devouring Maw, Ancestral Healing, Archon, Metamorphosis, and Apocalypse on yep. Diablo. So just like you said, going for that Apocalypse. However, the fact that they did hit level 10 first could dictate some of the talents we do see out of uh, Team Eryx here. Eryx could be running the stage dive and the Reign of Vengeance just to avoid this. It's very unlikely we'll see the Gargantuan despite the game we in Technocast yesterday. But uh, there's a good chance that at least ETC and Valor could play stuff to avoid that scenario happening. Tasta not even needing to use his Oracle to see that there's going to be some kind of ambush here, but there's not really a chance of them diving in here. Now they're throwing down the zombies. Yeah, no one jumping into that yeah. trying to die. It was too risky. They could have... Ah, they should have needed a few more kills to get to level 10. I think if they yeah, had a level 10s available, it might have been worth it. But like that, no way. Ooh, bloody's in trouble. There comes the jump onto him. And he's caught out. Can he get him? Nope. He gets nice behind the wall. Died. That was a lucky move. Yep, and uh, they appear to have completely ignored my advice, and it is Mosh Pit, Straight, straight. and Ravenous Spirit. <laughs> so, oh, uh, this Apocalypse gonna be doing some work. We have to keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on all the channeling people. If they can trap Valor into it, or at least get Valor onto one of those Apocalypse marks, then that's gonna be all three ults disabled. And if that happens, I will find the clip specifically, and I will send it to Kendrick. <laughs> and that's a free tribute and the curse going to Team no. Mad Corps. Nice move. I mean, they have the boss pushing in top lane, so that's really perfect for them. It's about to go down, but uh, they already have four heroes onto the next boss. And Illidan tanking bruises by himself. Tesla just switching back and forth. Really nice move here by Lonely. Um, actually helping out both parts of his team. And that's going to give him really fast control over both the bruisers and that boss. Be able to take that with the combination of his shield and the life steal he gets. However, there's the hook. Metamorphosis instantly goes in. The Varian more only grabs Javian. He's separated. There's the apocalypse being used as an engage rather than to cancel any of those ults. Divine Storm goes down. Ravenous Spirit in the background. But the Mosh Pit does get interrupted by the overpower. Down goes Nazibo from Illidan. Illidan continuing to give chase. He's now on to Korti Loves You. Not willing to go about a fight though. Helios stuns him to try and interrupt. Helios will die for his troubles. Korti now continuing to kite, try to get away. JP, the curse is still down. He has five seconds if he really wants to dive over the wall here. Doesn't look like he wants to take that risk. Instead, just going to start taking down these towers. Yeah, that, that would have been a risky move. But it's only one second until Nazibo and ten seconds until Ether is back. Still, I think they can actually push this and go for the keep. Yeah, they're adding in a couple of seed shines here. Easy move. The boss is taking some damage. And it's gonna keep Ariex occupied. And yeah, gonna go for that key. Where are they? Oh, they're back on. What the heck? No, they don't want to get caught out seeing as everyone is back alive. No, now they're turning around. Bloody diving in. He does have his mosh pit back up as it was interrupted at the very start of the cast by that overpower. So he can jump in and use it. But there's a good chance he will get CC'd out of it again by Diablo. And there we go, dives oh, in. Mosh there he goes, but gets no one. Apple. I think, oh, Yuki, he did get Yuki, but that's a lot in. Oh, Javion trying to stop the remaining here, but oh, Helios coming in with a nice, uh, nice storm. Oh, JP, five into the bile there, deciding instead to jump over the keep to avoid taking too much damage from that is now going to back out. Metamorphosis. Trying to do some damage with it while it is oh, still up. Too that was dangerous. That was dangerous. There comes the shield. He's still alive. Gets a heal up. And there's the Maul not doing all that much. Zebo, can he do something? Jelly? Oh, but hey, bloody. 
Seems like he makes a run for it, but no, he doesn't really quite make it. Yeah, but still on the run. And Shoin will fall. Ooh, maybe oh, maybe not. Shoin able to escape thanks to wow. some bad friendly body box skills on the side of Mad Corpse. They're going to be backing up, though. Their work is done. They got the keep. There's a single giant left working on the core, but that will be taken out by Corti Loves You. And there are yeah, the rest of Mad Corp's going to be get mana and health if they need it. Illidan, he don't need it. He's just going to life seal off the minions. It's going to be really tough for Eryx to come back. I mean, they're four levels down. Um, really big, really big levels here. Um, level 16 talents uh, are up for Mad Corp's. And they're just going for, uh, for Merce now. Going to grab all they can. And then I think they're just going to steal him. Um, or they're just going to um, pick him out. I mean, they can just... Backdoor this anytime they want now. Yep, yeah, we're actually seeing the blood for bl the sorry, not the blood for blood, the uh, giant killer coming out for Zagara, which is quite interesting. We usually see the bonus damage on the hunter killer. Instead, just taking the double hunter killer anyway, but you folks will all attack a bit more. Yuki gets hooked in, divide storm, all CC being used on just Yuki here. There's the apocalypse, only hits Ufa. And Shoin looking for a good angle here, but Diablo is just chasing him down. JP completely separate from his team, but he's chasing onto Javion, even with that vial being used. But he does not care. Ravenous Spirit coming from over the wall, but Diablo doesn't care. He tackles straight into him, and that's going to be Shoin going down. And the hook doesn't land on anyone except for Roach. And that is a two for zero. Once yeah, again, that's all damage to those down. 14 areas. So, I mean, right now, it's really tough for them to stop. Bad corpse, and that they're just capitalizing on it. Helios will dock here, and that keep will fall as well. I mean, bloody can't really do anything about it. It's just him and Valor remaining. Yeah, as those just animations back keep popping, popping up. Soon. Yes, the animate as the words keep popping up during Diablo's charge when some CC or slows go down. He is unstoppable at this point, just charging in and doing huge damage. We can see some of the talents he's taken are working towards this whole lockdown everything. Battle momentum, even more CC. He doesn't have the fastest auto attacks in the world, but every single auto attack is going to mean he's getting much closer to using another one of his CC abilities again. And he's also taken the spell shield to reduce any kind of harass damage he'll take, and the firestorm just for a little extra damage himself. Yeah, really, really cool Diablo builds we're we seeing tonight. And they're working out quite well, I mean... Last time, uh, they didn't win, but at least their Diablo really made the game. This is the next and last keep that's gonna fall here. And with that, I think they might actually push through. But there's a good hook on Lonely. But with the face shift, does get away. And looks like they're trying to find another opening angle, but it's not gonna happen for now. Yeah. Speaking of uh, interesting builds, Stitches has run the Vile Gas build. He's taken an auto attacks to create more Vile Gas himself, and the increased radius and duration of Vile Gas. There's the hook! Onto, Lo onto Lonely, the Lonely once again in his five. SDK though, looks like he's gonna go down to the Ravenous Spirit. Down he does go, however, the Devouring more. Oh, Devouring more into Apocalypse. Helios goes down, Javiel oh, goes the down. Double kill, where's the triple kill? Come on. Triple kill, Nazebo goes down. ETC trying to jump in there. With a nice marsh pit, he does get Uther. Yep, but but um, that's a focus out. He's trying to do the damage, but that is GG. Mad Corps. Moving on to the round of 16. Very well played there, but that devouring more into Apocalypse was awesome. But uh, yeah, that last fight was the only two kills that uh, they got the entire game. Yeah. A little bit sad. I mean, they played so well in that last game, but Mad Corps seems to be on another level of play tonight.